I use Kden Live to synchronize my voiceovers and video clips, so I need a freeze frame effect if I have more voice than video. I discovered a neat way to do this precisely that I think is better than other how-tos, so I'm going to share it with you. For the purpose of this demo, I've created a countdown clip and an example voiceover which mentions second 11 and second 9, but I deliberately took too long speaking so that I need to pause the video to synchronise it. Here's how it starts off before editing. I want this to be synchronised with frame 11 and this to be synchronised with frame 9. The first thing I'm going to do is trim the click at the beginning of the sound. Then I'm going to find the 11 in the video and sync it to the word 11 in the audio. I had to shorten it quite a lot so that I can move it so that the second with 11 on it lines up with the visible word 11 in the audio. Then extend it again to the start of the production. Let's play that and see how we're doing. I want this to be synchronised with frame 11 and this to be synchronised with frame 9. So the 11 is correct, but the 9 isn't. We have to pause the video. I'm going to find the second with 10 in it and use the right and left arrow keys to find the exact frame I want to freeze on. When I found it, I choose the video track and split at playhead. Then, having split the video, I move the second part so that the 9 lines up perfectly with the word in the audio. This is the equivalent of inserting silence, except that I obviously want freeze frame instead of a gap. So, in effects, under motion, I find the freeze effect and drag and drop it onto the first half of the video. Apparently, you have to also select the clip before the properties pane comes into view. So, drag the Freeze At slider to the very end and checkbox Freeze After. Then, extend the clip to join up and you'll see that it's frame perfect. I want this to be synchronised with frame 11 and this to be synchronised with frame 9. As always, thanks for watching to the end.